How's it going everyone? In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a text gradient effect in Canva. This works in both the free and paid versions. So let's get straight to it. We'll be combining two elements to create this effect, letter frames and gradients. Stay tuned to the end and I'll show you how to create your own custom gradients. For speed I'll use Canva's built-in gradients for this tutorial. Firstly open up a blank page click on elements and search for letter frames. At this time Canva only offers one font of letter frames so we are restricted in this case. Letter frames gives us the ability to apply individual backgrounds to each letter. We'll be adding a gradient to each letter to give it a smooth looking effect. If we just added a different colour to each letter it will look blocky which we don't want. So drag in all the letters you need and line them up how you want. You can also group all the letters by highlighting them and clicking group in the top right. I'll also just center them like this. I'll also add a black background so they really stand out. You can only add photos or solid colors to the letter frames so we need an image of a gradient. Go to photos and search gradient. Find one you like and drag it on top of the letters one by one. Once that's done, then I double click on each letter and resize the gradient so it covers the entire page. This makes it look like the text is a mask over the gradient. The benefit of this is that now the gradient is larger within each letter, giving us room to adjust exactly how we want it to look. So for example, I'm going to start closing in the edges to make the gradient look more pronounced. You can play around with it to get the exact look you are looking for. As you can see the gradient looks steeper. So there you go, that's the basics of getting a text gradient effect in Canva. If you want to make your own custom gradient, open up a new design, click on elements, select this free rectangle one, drag it onto a new page. Once it's selected, you can now change the colors in these two boxes at the top. Once finished, download the page as a PNG and re-upload into Canva so you have a static image that you can now use. That's it, if you found this video useful, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more straightforward tech tutorials. I'm putting out videos weekly, so hit the bell to get notified when a new video drops. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.